Ask Reddit. What caused you and your best friend to drift apart? I moved away. I moved on. He went to jail. You know how it goes. I'm still friends with both of my best friends, but we don't talk a whole lot and we only see each other once or twice a year. When we do see each other, it's like nothing changed, but it's so uncommon because we all live in different states that it's hard to feel like we aren't drifting apart throughout the year. Long story short, I grew up and she continues to act like a teenager. I think a big part of it has to do with the fact she's still in college going into her seventh year of undergrad and primarily hangs with people four to five years younger than us. She also always complains about how hard adulting is when she's never had to work full time, pay a dime in bills, and gets to live at home, rent free. We still talk on occasion, but it's rare we hang out anymore. I just didn't want to party anymore and he didn't want the party to stop. They started hanging out without inviting me, I tried, I really did but I guess at the end it didn't matter. His sister went through a really bad breakup and was left with two kids she never really wanted. I consoled her and got her to go out and have fun again. He assumed I was sleeping with her and threw a tantrum. Our friendship was pretty rocky before that but his selfishness concerning his own sister was just ridiculous. Her meeting a guy that completely brainwashed her. She used to be a very gentle, outgoing and self-independent woman who loved her life, job, friends, family etc. After meeting him, she totally changed, he comes from a male-dominant country and made her believe within a very short period of time that she should give up her whole life and serve him 24-7, from, I am thirsty, get me some water now, to, you can't have a life because I might need you while you do x y, she is taking the blame for everything that goes wrong in his life. He is insulting her non-stop, she is in charge of managing the household, the baby, his needs and his life, while he, enjoys life. She gave up all her values and become a totally different person, family and friends tried to talk to her, but accepts the way it is, over the last couple of years she lost almost all of her former friends, no new friends, as he doesn't want to her be social. I kept in touch with her, she knows she can always rely on me, but I think our relationship will never be the same, at least not as long as he is in her life, and it really hurts so see all this, while I can't do anything and lost my best friend. She told me that she wanted to visit the jungle, didn't specify which, as she was traveling all over Asia, in her gap year. I asked her which one since there are multiple, she haven't answered me since. We would text each other every day for hours on end, one day she started dating someone who was popular and she gained tons of popularity and made loads more friends, eventually I was always the one starting our conversations which made me think how if she cared and wanted to talk to me then she would. I decided that I wasn't going to text her and I'd wait for her to text me. 21 weeks later, no text. Stealing money and video games from me and refusing to give them back, he doesn't have a lot of friends these days I hear. He was a poopy person, even though he was all I really had, when we were younger he would go after any girl I had a thing for eventually making them lose interest in me, he was just an unmotivated individual that would only drag me down, I couldn't stay around him after realizing that. I tried to rekindle our friendship about two years ago maybe, because honestly I miss him, last time I saw him he had me buy him lunch that after he got his food he left me alone to go hang out with his friend instead. Sorry man I tried, have fun living your dream of being a shift manager at IHOP. Pot. Now before you bust my butt I'm a big believer in legalization mostly because 1. Taxes 2. I don't care what people do with their personal lives, anyhow this did make us drift apart. We were both in college together and freshman year he started smoking pot with some friends by second semester that's all he was doing, blowing a poop load of money on it and skipping class, he did not return sophomore year and lives in his mom's basement to this day, Christ that was 7 years ago expressionless face, and just kinda bums off people. We were really close but I cared about setting myself up with a nice life and he cared about getting high. I do miss him though. He got into a serious relationship and started a family. I was selfish and couldn't accept how the dynamic changed, last time I saw him he asked if I wanted to come past his place and have a beer with him while he fixed something in the garage. I said I was busy, busy was sitting at the bar and I didn't actually enjoy myself that evening. She told me my life was too perfect and my problems weren't real, knowing I went through heavy mental poop, but apparently mental disorders are made up and not real problems like hers, and my perfect life made her feel bad about herself. 
That made me realize she'd been biased against me for a long time, always giving bad advices. She tried to reconnect after a while but I could see how she was still judging me and bothered if I had any good news to tell, so I distanced myself once and for all. Still stings since she was the first best friend I made, after being a total friendless loner for most of my life who wasn't able to connect with people. I'm better mentally and in terms of coming out of my shell and relating with people but I haven't made other close or lasting friendships yet. Time and distance, we used to live in the same town and we gradually moved to our own parts of the world due to life, we were best friends at the time but if you don't nurture a friendship it will decay. I think the moment that our friendship finally broke apart was when he declined to attend my wedding, it did hurt my feelings but I understood that we had spent several years apart and our views on life had also diverged to a point that I think he no longer felt comfortable speaking to me, his political views and mine changed and though I could have been fine with it I think he was unwilling to make that kind of compromise and continue to associate with me. I don't know that either one of us was necessarily at fault maybe both of us were because a relationship is a two-way street, both have to contribute for it to work. I'm still disappointed in how it turned out though but I wish him well in any case. She got married. I tried to make it work for a year, but it sucks when it's always you reaching out to make plans. There was added insult to injury because she knew how I felt about my past experiences with one-sided friendships. Now that I've moved several states away, it seems that she finally realized that she has to put in effort too, too little too late though. I moved away, built a new life and realized my priorities had changed. He was stuck in the same place in life as when I left and we just didn't have much in common anymore. I kinda realized that not all friendships are meant to be lifelong. Most are finite. And that's okay. I still wish him the best. She kept telling me lies and trying to copy everything I did because she was jealous of me, she confessed this in a drunk moment couple of weeks before I just wrote her off entirely, she went as far as trying to copy my tattoos or contacting my friends when I was given a present to ask where they got it so she could buy the same thing. She got married and her new husband didn't like me. Lack of motivation, all my friends are from a small town and I moved to a bigger city, they all just want a drink and go fishing, meanwhile I've started my own business and am on track for a solid career. But I'll call them and tell them about a new product I am going to be selling and poop I am excited about and I get hit with the ol, oh sweet, can you lend me a grand, friends eh? I developed feelings for her and eventually gave in and told her, had to let go cause I was hurting seeing her with someone else, best friend for majority of my life. Distance. I moved to Melbourne, she stayed in Canberra, and she didn't get Facebook for a significant period of time. We still message each other now and again, but we aren't as close as we used to be. His name was Zach. We were best friends, like best friends, we would spend hours exploring the nearby forest and creek, catching frogs and newts. We ended up getting into a huge fight over something dumb, I can't remember, we completely cut out contact, I still think about him to this day, and when we were younger I dreamed of marrying him xd. So Zach, if you're reading this, I miss you, come back to me. My best friend got another best friend. She was very critical of body issues that were none of her business, was food controlling on trips, when I called her on it and tried to establish a boundary she doubled down and got outright mean and cruel. I was devastated, she was a mentor, a friend, a business partner. I felt I could never trust her with my emotions again. When I followed up and asked for space and time, her reply started with, well, there's two sides to every story. Stopped reading, haven't talked to her in more than three years now. I worked as an assistant with his father for two months and I couldn't get my money. Then we slowly drifted apart. Don't make money get into your relationships because it ruins everything. She witnessed an act of domestic violence at my house. It wasn't a super frequent thing, and obviously it's not that uncommon generally speaking in the larger population, but I understand her not being around after that, also my parents didn't want us playing music together because I had been playing an instrument since I was really little and she had just started, so yeah, that didn't help. She was engaged to a fantastic woman and we were all very close. Then she left her for a man and as soon as she started dating men she became totally different, insecure, needy, wanted to spend 99% of her time with her boyfriends, she took on all their interests. It was like there was nothing left of her, she just morphed into whatever she thought her boyfriends, who were all kind of jerks, wanted. 
One fall I had planned a trip to visit her, had a plane ticket, booked vacation, and the day before she told me it wasn't a good time and I knew she meant she just wanted to hang out with this new man she was seeing, she also seemed to resent me for having a strong relationship with my partner. She grew distant and over a few years we just faded out of each other's lives. I really miss how she used to be. I think back and wonder if I could have done anything differently, but I don't know what that would be. Maybe confronted her about it. I doubt it would have helped, though.